Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we'll be learning how to read the tape. So this is a measuring tape. And if we look at this tape, we'll see numbers written on the tape. And this, this side of the tape is the inches side, while this other part is the cm or centimeter side. Well, we are going to be concentrating on the inches side because this is the side we mostly use in in Nigeria. So, if we look at this tape now, now see that for, this is zero to one inch, to two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, and so on. And if you look at this tape very well, we we'll also see that there are other small lines in between the inches line so these smaller lines are one two three four five six seven and this one eight in number the total number of lines in in an inch in an inch is eight lines so in this since it's eight lines now how this is one over eight 2 over 8, 3 over 8, 4 over 8, 5 over 8, 6 over 8, 7 over 8, and 8 over 8, which is also 1 inch. If we do a little bit of mathematics, you'll see that 8 over 8, 8 divided by itself, 1 divided by itself, 1. This is 1 inch. So 8 over 8 is equal to 1 inch. Now, if we look at these numbers, the Sorry, if we look at these uh, lines in between the inch line, we'll see that some lines are longer than the other. Now we'll have this, uh, uh, in, in, amongst the small lines in between the inches, we have this particular line, which is the longest, that divides an inch into two equal halves. When we are counting, we said this is 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8. This is 4 over 8, right? Then this 4 over 8 is divides this inch line into two equal halves. So this is 0 0.5 or half inch. 0 0.5 or half inch. If we do a little bit of mathematics, we now see that this 4 over 8, because if you count it, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 over 8, if we divide it, 4 divided by itself, 1, 4 divided by 8 is 2, which is 1 over 2, which is half inch or 0 0.5. You either call it half inch or you call it 0 0.5. Now, if we check between 0 point to this 0 0.5, there is another longer line, a line that is longer than the two other lines that is dividing this half inch into two equal halves. And when we were counting, we counted as 1 over 8, 2 over 8. We counted this as 2 over 8. Now, if we look at that 2 over 8, if we do a little bit of mathematics, 2 divided by itself is 1, 2 divided by 8 is 4 which is equal to 1 over 4, or 0 0.25. Now, this particular line is quarter inch, or 0 0.5 inch. Now, we have another longer line in between the half inch to the 1 inch. This longer line, when we counted, it was 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8, 4 over 8, 5 over 8, 6 over 8. It was... 6 over 8. If we do a little bit of mathematics, we'll see that 2 divided by 6 is 3. And 2 divided by 4, 8 is 4. We have 3 over 4, which is 3 quarter or 0 0.75. So this other longer line here is 0 0.75 before the 1 inch. This also applies to the other numbers. Now we have 0 to 0 0.25 or quarter inch to half inch or 0 0.5 to three quarter inch or 0 0.75 to one inch. One and a quarter inch, one and a half inch, 
one and three quarter inch two inches two and a quarter inch two and half inch two and three quarter inch and three inches now let's look at the smallest lines in between this smallest is one over eight three over eight five over eight and seven over eight if we want to do it mathematically like this ones the the fractions will, will will not be a proper fraction so we don't divide it so we'll not get confused we'll just leave it and call it the way it is so this is one over eight three over eight five over eight and seven over eight now when we look at some sewing books or uh, pattern books we'll now see uh, in some cases or when we watch some tutorials online we see some cases where we'll, they will say three eighths of an inch 58 of an inch this is the 3 8 of an inch and this is the 58 of an inch now i will also advise that we get familiar with the two sides of the tape because some pattern books uses some pattern books use set cm while other ones use inches so It is better we we'll get you no know, familiar with both sides of the tape so that we can you know get precise measurements. Like for example, sometimes you can do some you can divide some measurements and you get numbers like 2.6, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. And, and similar a number so how do we convert this this is in inch so we are, this actually falls on our tape it's always easier to convert it to centimeter so you know precisely where that measurement falls for a better fit now to change inches to centimeter you simply multiply by 2.54 and to change from centimeter to inches, you simply divide by 2.54. For example, this 2.6, if we want to know where it falls on the tape, what we can do is to simply multiply 2.6 by 2.54 and we'll get here yeah, and we'll get 2.6 times 2.5454 and we'll get 6.6 .6. and now looking at this our tape looking at this our tape we have 6 if we count our 6.6 .6 is here when we turn it on the tape we'll now say that it falls on 2 and 58 of an inch just just to make our work easier just just to make our work easier it's better to get be familiar with both sides of the tape so that is it on the tape reading for today i hope this tutorial has been helpful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification button so you get notified each time i upload pattern tutorials. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next class.